It is abstract, but it is a, a sort of second level of, of a court. When 164 countries are members of the WTO, and when one country is not following the rules, meaning that it is dumping prices, selling things for a price that is too low uh, to, than the, the, the global ma market, this threatens hundreds of thousands of jobs in the European Union and, and elsewhere as well. And this is a bad thing because people lose their jobs. So you can actually take a country to court to say that what you're doing is not in compliance with international laws. And then what we've seen in the past is actually that countries, if they are convicted in that, that court, they, they, they obey. And if we don't have a second level, then um, the, the, it becomes more, more, more risky and more, more unsecure because all this is about safeguarding jobs when competition is not fair. Not that I can identify like this because some of the things uh, are not really dependent on, on us. Uh, I mean, the, the, the world looks as, as it does and the world has become much more protectionist. Uh, looking back, maybe we should have started the WTO reforms earlier uh, because WTO has been in, in crisis for many, many years. It has nothing to do with, uh, with the, the Trump administration. I mean, that has aggravated uh, lately, but, but it, it goes further back. Uh, we tried, uh, but, but maybe we should have you know, given it further impetus uh, earlier. Well, we've always been trading with each other and, and we still do. And I hope that we can continue and I hope that we can overcome whoever sits in the White House uh, in, in a couple of years, that we can overcome some of these problems. But in the meantime, we are trying to, to, to you know, foster some sort of positive agenda. And also there's, there are other countries in the world. And as I said, we have concluded agreements with, with Canada, with Japan, with Singapore, with Mexico, with Vietnam, uh, with Mercosur. We are negotiating with Australia, Indonesia, New Zealand. So it's not like the EU sits and wait for the world to change. We take very much part in creating jobs and opportunities for our citizens and for our companies.